I have always been fascinated by the power of sound to create an immersive gaming experience. So when I participated in my first game jam, I knew I had to create unique and memorable sounds for my game. Before even considering joining a game jam, I had to make sure that I understood concepts such as audio middleware like FMOD, basic audio scripting in a game engine, Unity being my game engine of choice, and version control software such as GitHub. This might take longer than expected, so maybe it's best if I just wing it, dive in blindly into a game jam, and hope for the best. I recently joined a game jam called Indie Game Dev Beginners, which took place on the itch.io platform. The group was organizing their third global jam, and there was over 700 participants from all over the world. Through the online community, I connected with two beginner game developers, and together we formed a team. The rules were that we needed to develop a game based on the theme of robots within one week. My team and I began brainstorming ideas for the game, and we came up with a concept for the main character. The story is that this robot had been exiled from its RoboClan, and was determined to take revenge by returning to the city. As we continued to develop the idea, we thought of various types of enemies that the player would face throughout the game, deciding to make each enemy distinct by giving them unique weapons, which the players can pick up and use to defeat more powerful enemies. As the sound designer, I created audio assets that added to the fast-paced action and conveyed a sense of retribution for the main character. This included aggressive robot voices, weapon sound effects, and intense fast-paced music. Let's take a look at these examples. For the robot voices, I use frequency modulation and granular stutter and glitch effects. By creating slightly different variations of each sound, I can set up a multi-sample trigger event later on in FMOD Studio. This will shuffle to a different sample each time the sound is triggered in-game. This means we can avoid repetitive samples during fast-paced gameplay. I use the same process for the gun sounds by adding slight changes to each sample. For the music, I wanted to create an aggressive bass synth using modular synthesis and VCV rack. Here, I added distorted electronic drum sequences using my Polyan Tracker. And this is how they sound together. Next, I imported these sounds into FMOD Studio. Let's first look at the music. For this asset, I wanted to have a nested loop. This loop repeats at a later point in the music, which means the player will hear the intro only once at the start of the game. And here are the other sound assets in FMOD. Integrating FMOD into Unity posed a bit of a challenge as I had to figure out how to minimize the file size when importing sounds. I was able to overcome this somewhat by learning about the single platform build option. This allows Unity to read the bank files that FMOD creates. These files contain all of the sound and project data in a compact form that Unity can easily read. Exporting FMOD bank files fixed the portability issue while setting up my team's GitHub repository without including all the audio files. When I thought the coast was clear, next I encountered issues with FMOD files on the repository. These files are used to update and cache the FMOD project save data, which isn't required once the bank files are exported and read in Unity. To solve this problem, I updated the git ignore text file, removing all unnecessary files from being uploaded after every commit. Once these issues were resolved, we were able to make some quick progress on the game while pushing many updates to GitHub. 
let's look at the final game that we published on itch.io. This is the main menu of the game, and you can hear that I added a UI sound and bass loop. When you start the game, the music suddenly changes to the main theme, and you can hear an eerie ambient drone, which adds to the environmental design. You start the game with a laser, and the sound loops while the right mouse button is pressed. Once released, you can hear a discharge effect, which ends the loop. Using a parameter called firing, I can track when the player presses and releases the button. Let's look at the voices, and how they are triggered in Unity. These enemy robots can detect the player at a certain distance away by using an on-trigger enter method. By injecting my sounds within this code, I can make sure that the robot voices play once the player is detected. Since this is within the enemy prefabs, this will apply to all enemies that spawn into the game. After learning how the prefabs work in Unity, I found that I can use prefabs for the collectibles as well, by adding a play on awake method any time the player picks up a collectible. The process of creating sound for a game is a challenging yet rewarding experience. Through this project, I learned the importance of designing sounds that fit the theme and atmosphere of the game. Working as a team allowed us to overcome various obstacles and develop problem-solving skills. If you're interested in game development or sound design, I highly recommend pursuing projects like this to gain practical experience. If you're interested, you can play the game using the link below. If you're a beginner sound designer, feel free to leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Until next time.